don't know, Halloween is just like a weird holiday to be dressing up as anybody else's culture. You can say the same thing about any costume. Are you gonna tell a six-year-old girl that she can't dress up like a pirate because she doesn't know the history of pirates? Like, oh, that's very different. What? The world. We're all technically white. Yeah. If you're from England, if you're from Australia, if you're from wherever, South Africa, you know, we all have these crazy places we come from and these people are around and we get those ideas from those people. But that doesn't mean us as a whole have no culture. But as a white person, it's not really a culture. You can have culture like I'm hella Irish, obviously, and that's a culture. But the just being white is not a, it's, it's not a culture. I can't relate to you just because you're white. I think you could say that for any ethnicity though. If we were all black, could I relate to you guys if just because of the color of our skin? Yes, because they go through very similar experiences. Like they'll get discriminated against and you're not getting discriminated against. Bro, I hate when people try to speak on the whole black community. Like we all go through these problems. Like no, just because you're black does not mean that I can relate to you because you're black. No. No, that no, you people, y'all be trying to baby feed black people. Please stop. Stop it. It's not a good look on y'all. It's not. You you know, every race has some type of culture behind it. Regardless, it's always something with white people that y'all say, oh, white people don't have this and white people don't have that. Y'all talk so down on the white people in today's generation when they can't, they, they freaking... Uh, can't change the fact that they're white. They can't change the fact of what their history was in the past. First of all, it's not even their history. It's their their color, the uh, race, the color of their skin history. Stop saying that, oh, white people don't have culture, but black people have culture. Irish. Like, you, like seriously, every race has some type of culture behind it. You people just be sounding so stupid when y'all talk. Then y'all say, then you just said, um, if, if you was black and she was black, she can relate to you because you're black because y'all go through this and no, not every black person go through. No, that's, that's incorrect. That's false. That's false. If you don't know anything about the black community, okay, not everybody in the black community can relate to each other because it, we're black. I can't relate to another black person just because they're black. I can't. I'm sorry. I just cannot. It's because of your skin color. They can both relate to that. But I also feel like with culture, we branch out, we try experiences like they'll get discriminated against and you're not getting discriminated against because of your skin color. They can both relate to that. But I also feel like with culture, we branch out, we try different things. We want to do different things. So maybe we've lost a little bit of our culture. Maybe we're creating a new culture. <laughs> there you go. I believe in reverse racism. Three, two, one. I don't know what that is. We can explain it. Okay, um, what is it? I'll stay here. <laughs> before I decide. Reverse racism is like someone being racist against you because you are white. Like, do you believe that someone can be racist against a white person? Yeah. <laughs> I grew up where it was completely like Hispanic culture. I was constantly made fun of because I was white. Oh, white people can't dance. White people look stupid, whatever. They shouldn't say white people can't dance, but I, then, they can't dance. No, <laughs> yeah, I can't they dance, say it. just putting that out there. But I mean, like, being honest though, like they would say those mean things to me and, and more hurtful things than that. It's like a hard pill to swallow because if I turned around and said, black people can't dance, I'd get hell for that. Exactly. But then if someone says the same words to me, it's somehow okay. Because you have to look at the difference of it though. And I relate to you, I grew- Bro, this woman has so much freaking wisdom. I mean, she knows exactly what she's talking about. I, I hate when people say reverse racism doesn't exist. Bro, at the end of the day, you can be racist towards anybody, anybody. The one smallest thing go, another race can say to a black person, we consider it racism. But if we say the same exact thing to another race, like white people, it's not racism. 
We oh oh you know what they say oh oh how can we be racist to people that already started the racism? That that's exactly what some black people be saying. I swear, bro, this woman has so much wisdom. Reverse racism exists. I don't care how you feel. About, reverse racism exists. A black person can definitely, definitely be racist to a white person. It don't matter. It, it don't matter. I grew up with all Latino or black friends. I had very few white friends. And yeah, I got made fun of for being like the white girl. I was gringa. And I didn't take offense to it because... The huge part about racism is that there's hate and oppression behind it. And as a white person in America, I do not feel oppressed. And I definitely think that we should take the log out of our own eyes before worrying about the sawdust in other people's. Like, I totally agree with that, but... That's in the Bible. I don't know if she's a Christian or not, but that's definitely in the Bible. Hey, hey There man. is sawdust, so that's kind of what, just what I'm saying. For me, I feel like anything we do can come out racist to any other type of race. But at the same time, if they say something mean or racist to us that we feel is racist, it kind of gets brushed okay. off. I, when I think of the word racism, I think more towards oppression, so that's why I'm in the disagree. Like, I'll deal with someone just being mean to me, but whatever. I think even... it's important to focus on race in order to bring us together. There is a race issue what in America. The... And if we just avoid it altogether and pretend like it's not happening, nothing's going to change in no. my opinion. No, she's she's done. What? What is are you stupid or dumb? Did you just literally say we oh bro I, bro bro You think focusing on race can bring uh, I'm sorry. I'm okay. We gonna let her we gonna let her finish this, bro. We gonna let her finish. I'm gonna get my thoughts towards the end. We gonna let her finish. I think it's important to focus on race in order to bring us together. There is a race issue in America. And if we just avoid it altogether and pretend like it's not happening, nothing's going to change in my opinion. I kind of was thinking about the question differently because if all I'm thinking about when I meet someone is, oh, I'm white and she's not white and I'm white and she's not white, like that for me, that's like what focusing on race is. Yeah, we're never going to be happy unless we just like all work together just to like treat each other like each other you know like there is no race yeah and that that sounds great but it's like we're not there we're not there i feel like people who have that perspective might also say like oh i don't see color or try not you know try to have that attitude i don't think that helps anybody i think we need to like to respect each other's backgrounds and like that is only gonna happen if, if we we do see color we do like appreciate everybody's differences so you think it's more important to focus on a person color than focus on a person characteristics than focus on how a person could treat another person to, no matter what the color of the skin is i don't care if you're white black Hispanic, i don't care what color of skin you are depending on how i treat you that's what you should be focused on not the color of my skin my color the color of my skin don't mean nothing we need to stop focusing on race and focus more on the person Okay, stop looking at the person's color and focus on just the individual. That's what you need to focus on. The color of the skin does not matter. The color of your skin is not going to get you into heaven. It's not going to get you into hell. It's not going to get you into nowhere. The color of your skin is not going to get you nowhere. It's not. When you die, God is not going to be like, oh, you're black, go to hell. You're white, go to heaven. Like He's not going to do nothing like that. He's not. When Jesus got on that cross, he did not look at the color of everybody's skin. He didn't say, I'm only dying for Jewish. I'm only dying for blacks. I'm only dying. He didn't do this. He did not do that. He didn't just die for a, a specific race, uh, race group. Y'all need to stop focusing on race. In order to stop focusing on race, we need to just stop speaking about it. I mean, seriously, think about it like this. If we all just look at the person as an individual and look at the person as just a human being, not the color of their skin, look at them as just an individual and a human being. And we just look at that, bro. Nobody would care about the color of your skin. Like, yes, I don't look at color. I don't. I seriously don't. And I feel like everybody should stop looking at the color of somebody's skin. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it does not matter. You people are delusional, bro. Cultural appropriation is real. That's, no, Three, that is not real. Two, one. Yeah, I think cultural appropriation is very real. You see all the time, like Coachella, you know, we're in LA and you see people yeah. in the Native American headdresses without knowing 
how important that is to Native people. Yeah, exactly. I think there's a difference between respecting the culture and completely disrespecting the culture. But then also, if you want to dress up on Halloween like a, a geisha because you like the costume, you think it's a beautiful costume, that I wouldn't say is... I wouldn't do that. I think if you're going to go and dress up as a geisha, without knowing the importance of it and just being like, well, this is cute. Like, I'm going to put this on. And also, even if you did know the importance and you're like, I don't know, Halloween is just like a weird holiday to be dressing up as anybody else's culture. You can say the same thing about any costume. Are you going to tell a six-year-old girl that she can't dress up like a pirate because she doesn't know the history of pirates? Like, well, that's very different. Well, so it's, it's just like... That's very different. Those are, those are children. <laughs> I think it's a lot about intention because I think it wearing is. that thing at Coachella, like I feel like I would see that as that person mocking someone. Well, even if they don't intentionally mean it, it's yeah. still offensive. That's because y'all take it offensive. That's that y'all take everything to heart. Everything does not need to be taken to heart. Okay, you talking about that? That's children. Who dressed up for Halloween for real? For real, children, right? I don't really see that many adults unless they're trying to just you know interact with their kids they're dressed up but come on you don't really see too many 30 40 year olds walking the street in a freaking uh god dang i don't know freaking batman costume you don't just see that bro that's just weird you know what i'm saying you're too grown to be doing that but it's a lot of people who do that to interact with their kids because you know they had like a little family uh family dress up that's cool but i just feel like cultural appropriation y'all take it to the street y'all take everything to heart i feel like if somebody wears something from my culture I, why would I care? Why, why should I care what another person wear? Words, actions, that should not hurt you, okay? Word, words should never hurt. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words should never hurt. So if a person says something bad about my culture, why should I care? If a person dressed up like my culture, why should I care? Why should I care? Let God handle the stuff, bro. Y'all be too focused on things y'all can't change. Y'all can't change a person's mindset. Y'all can't change what a person wear. Y'all be too focused on the other individual and what they're doing with their life. Let them be them. If they want to wear something from your culture and you feel offended by that, you have a problem. You have a serious problem. I just don't, I just wouldn't feel offended by it. I just wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I don't care. It, it, I don't care, bro. People go be people. <laughs> humans go be humans. It's some stupid humans out here who disrespect cultures or whatever. But at the end of the day, why should I really care, bro? I got a whole life, man. I got too much, I got too much time. Okay, if I feel like if you care about somebody else disrespecting your coach, you got way too much time on your hands to even be focused on them. I'm a busy man. I ain't got time to be focusing on what that person wearing and why they wearing this and that. And I don't got time, bro. I just don't. Too busy. I'm too busy. That's not even part of my schedule, bro. <laughs> the only reason I'm at somewhat disagree is because a lot of my favorite rappers use it frequently. Like if I'm listening to my favorite Childish Gambino song, which drops it like a hundred right, times, right. I know. So you know that in the car, it's like uh, uh, it's like I'm not sitting there thinking all these horrible things about black people, and I'm like, it's just in the song, and when I'm singing, <laughs> it comes out. There's like two different forms of the word. There ends with an er and with an a. And like with my friends, they're like, oh, you can say it with an A, like that won't hurt my feelings. That's what people told me. But also right like even when I'm in the car by myself, like I still feel like it's not my place. Yeah. Maybe I'll like whisper it like with an A at the end, you know, like if I'm by myself, but like out of the respect for other people, I just think it's more appropriate not to say it at all. Do you guys think rappers should stop putting it in their songs? No. I feel like if they're African American. If you think it's wrong though, why? I don't think it's wrong because the history of the N word come you know slave owners would call black people as the n-word with the hard r at the end if black people want to take that word and claim it as their own and claim that that painful history and like be like f you like i'm gonna claim this word i think they should be allowed to do that i don't think as a white person i have that right to take a word that was derogatory towards them, they should 100% have the right but, to do that. But do you think it's okay for a white person to sing the song? See, that's where that? we're like all on the fence. It's like, I feel like it's, we're like it's just, it's a word used as uh, like uh, my friend basically. And like, just like she said, if they want to take that back from its horrible origins, then I'm totally fine with that. But as, as a white person, you can't say that word without uh, feeling a certain way. 
Yeah, it's but all, I have a question. Why, if you if they didn't put it in their songs, you wouldn't say it, right? No, yeah, one hundred. So are they causing people to say that word more often? Because she wouldn't say it if it's it wasn't. It's not white enough. people's place to tell them what they can and cannot use. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you people are stupid. What if something if something was so harmful to my ancestors, or if something was so harmful to me, why would I take that word and claim it as my own? The fact that white people used to call their what well, the slave the slave owners used to call their slaves, okay, they, they used to call their slaves the N word with the E R at the end. Why, if that was so harmful and that was so just disrespectful towards black, but why would I want to take that word as a black person and claim it as my own and say it to another black person? You people don't even make sense. It didn't even makes sense coming out of my mouth. I felt stupid saying that. I really felt. Bro, I felt like I just lost brain cells saying the exact sentence. It didn't even make sense coming out of my mouth, bro. Didn't even make sense. You people are so delusional, bro. It's so delusional. At the end of the word, if you know what the end word originated from, you shouldn't say it point blank, period. You shouldn't say it at all. If it really was that harmful. Because like I said, black people, they're so offended and they're so they're 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 so um emotional about what happened to their ancestors even though they didn't live through that time and they feel as if it's still happening today and they feel like slavery still happens today they call working a job modern slavery that's what they call working a nine-to-five job but we get paid to work a nine-to-five job back then they didn't get paid to do the work that they did so how is this modern day slavery but that's a whole nother topic for a different day my thing is with the n-word you people People in general need to stop saying the N-word. Black people, anybody that say the N-word needs to stop. If it's so harmful and y'all don't want other white folks saying it, why say it y'all selves? That's just being hypocritical. You can't take something that was so harmful and say, yeah, I'm going to claim it as my own so we won't feel so offended by it. That doesn't even make logical sense. You people need to get some wisdom. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Press the place. I live a privileged life. Three... Two, one. It's so sad to say, because I never say it out loud, but it's the truth, is like getting pulled over by the police, I always feel like I have a little bit of a one-up yeah. because I'm white, because I'm a woman. And I feel so bad that that's the truth, but this is a real thing and it's unfortunate. For me, as an individual, I feel what like I'm not privileged. Sure, like, white people background came from, like, being higher up on the scale, but I've gone through really hard things before. You know, I don't feel like I'm superior over other people. So as an individual, I don't feel like I'm privileged. I think privileged, I guess, I don't really think that I'm above other people. I just think that naturally I'm treated differently. Yeah, it's like yeah, perception. That's, that's it's just perceptions. perceptions. Yeah, I think that's a huge mis misconception. Wait, wait, I'm gonna hurt. I'm gonna hurt talk. Treated differently. Yeah, it's like yeah, perception. That's, that's it's just perceptions. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a huge mis misconception. I have privilege that I didn't ask for. It. It's just society sees me as like the standard for whatever reason. And because of that, I get treated differently. And um, why privilege, you know, like you said, it's not about what you've gone through or what you experience. It's 100% how the world sees me. Bro, what? type of sense i'm sorry i keep pausing y'all this, this video is so ridiculous oh my gosh this video is so ridiculous i never knew so many people could think like this i didn't know people mindsets was really this ridiculous this, this is ridiculous this is honestly ridiculous seriously number one just because the way society just because society think that you're privileged does not mean that you're privileged think about all the hard things that you've been through that's what's being privileged okay you get pulled over by the cops. Nine times out of ten, what do you do to get... When you get pulled over by the cops, she talking about, well, when I get pulled over by the cops, I feel like I have a one-up because I'm white and I'm a woman. Like, no. You know what you do? I can tell you what you normally do. You get pulled over by the cops. This is what you do. You comply. Okay, you obey the officer commands. When the officer tells you to step out the vehicle, you don't fight. You don't try to run. You don't try to do anything like that. You don't try to swing on them. You try to just obey the officer. The officer says license registration. You don't say, man, y'all pulling me up because I'm white. You don't say that, do you? Oh, okay. That That is when the officer say, okay, you you go ahead, leave, and they'll give you a warning, probably a ticket. Bro, I dealt with the police so many different times, and every single time that I obeyed the officers, I got left off with a warning. Bro, I was doing 90 and a 40. I did 90 miles per hours 
miles per hour. <laughs> did 90 miles per hour in a 40. Did I just say miles per hour? I don't even, Man, I lost... Man, my brain is like killing me right now. Whatever. I did 90 in a 40. And when I did that, the officer let me off with a warning. Why? Because I obeyed the officer. I obeyed the officer. I didn't fight. I didn't say, man, ooh. I ain't do none of that. I told him why I was doing 90. He, 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 uh, he just basically, I guess... He understood. But, I mean, I don't know why he understood, but hey, he let me off with a warning. It's obeying the officers. That's what get you, that's what gets you the leeway. Not because you're white. Not because no, it's not that. I am proud to be white. Three. I already gave two. my point. I already gave my point of view on this part. Okay. When I, uh, if y'all didn't see the video that I posted last night, go watch it. I said, uh, White people something. Go watch the last video. Um, and I already gave my point of view, so we just go watch this fully through. One. Just be in the middle. Yeah. Can there be a middle? <laughs> All right. No. Gotta yes. pick a side. Pick a side. I don't know which side to pick. Don't pick it. Don't hate you guys. I, I don't. I almost went there too. It's like I it's think so like hard. guiltily, like I'm like happy that I'm not oppressed, but I'm not proud of like things people have done in the past when i when i think of being proud of something i think of something i worked for or that um yeah. i yeah i had to get i i had to do nothing to be white mm -hmm. absolutely nothing and nothing was taken from me because i was white it's like saying i'm a proud white person is a completely different saying than saying i'm a proud black person because when you hear i'm a proud black person i think empowerment i think strength, I think courage, I think, you know, all these amazing things that the black community has done and accomplished throughout the years. But then when you say I am a strong or I'm a proud white person, already there's so much like hate yeah. involved in that. The thing about that is like like how you said someone who says I'm proud to be black, that's empowerment. Why aren't I allowed to be proud to be white? What makes it wrong? You haven't been oppressed. Yeah, what are you proud of? Just your skin color? Because yes, that is wrong. So you're so saying I, I, I can't be proud to be white because I don't have a culture? No, I, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. It's that I, when white people say they're proud to be white, a lot of times, at least in my opinion, they're just they're talking about their skin color, that they're not a different race. So what do you think black people talk about when they say they're proud to be black? What, what, what do you think they talk about? I think that's wrong. Yeah. But um, as like we were talking about, as a proud black person, they've been oppressed that a lot of their culture was stolen from them. And a lot of the reasons that I don't like proud to be white is because it has the, the Nazis right. used it. The, the, the KKK used it. I don't want to be associated with any of those things. So I'm just going to completely right. stay away from that. Sure, I'm not proud of like what my culture has done. But at the same time, like I would not want to be anything else. If I had to choose another race, I don't know what I would be. I'm okay with where I am, even though I'm getting backlash about being white. No food questions? Yeah. I was waiting on the food question. Do you like, like Starbucks? <laughs> How many of you are vegan? Okay. Uh, okay. First of all, that look, I'm I'm be a hundred percent honest with y'all. This video ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, bro, I was trying not to pause so much, but come on, man. Even if y'all was reacting to this junk, y'all would have been pausing like crazy because, bro, this this is ridiculous. I, I, I'm sorry, but I love I love every race, and I I never truly look at I ne I look I look I don't look at race, but I'm just saying this um because this is what they was mostly talking about. I love every race, black, white, don't matter. I normally look at the individual normally look at the person characteristics that's what i look at but people like them okay some of these people really need help seriously i feel like they was basically they that's not their true opinion they they only send this stuff so they can so they will they will they won't get canceled by the black community you know what i'm saying but half of the stuff man straight bull bro Straight boy. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.